everybody, it's Kevin here at Dryport Marine again. Today we're real excited to bring you this brand new Mastercraft. This is the 2024 Mastercraft XT22. Uh, real quick before we begin our walk around, color wise on this one we have the gunmetal flake there on the top and then the black uh, mica flake on the bottom. So really good looking color combination, uh, especially in the sun here. You can kind of see the sparkle and the flake kind of sparkling in the sun. So looks really really good um, so real quick specs on this one too before we begin the walk around overall length on this boat is 24 or 22 feet 4 inches does have the 8 foot 6 inch beam 79 gallon fuel capacity comes in at a dry weight just over 5400 pounds at 5485 and does have a 16 person seating capacity on this one so uh, all right so beginning this one we did do the all black tower on this one so it looks really good does have the black clamping board racks too, standard on all Mastercrafts. Upgraded the windshield to the BTS windshield, so you're missing that windshield wing. They kind of cut that off for you, so uh, easier to grab the dock, easier to talk to skiers while you're in the water, so really nice feature there. Uh, walking around to the back of the boat, upgraded to the fiberglass swim platform with the flip down swim step. So if you're not familiar with this, it just flips right back in, locks into place. So uh, cool feature if you just want to kind of sit in the water and not get all the way in, makes it easier to get back up into the boat as well too. Uh, you have grab handles here, grab handle there, molded in cup holders as well. So a uh, very social platform there. Upgraded to the flip rear seating as well. Uh, so you got these seat backs will just flip right up. And then this will, hard to do with one hand, but this will slide out as well too to make that a more comfortable seat. So cool features there. And again, all C deck padding. This one does have the Surf Star as all Mastercraft surf system. So you'll have the wake shaping devices, the center trim tab, uh, the underwater exhaust. So uh, that's definitely gonna help keep the noise down, keep the exhaust in the water. Ratcheting transom straps, um, hard to see from this angle. We did upgrade this boat with Dock Star. So Dockstar gives you those two extra rudders right there, one on each side. Um, so when you're in reverse, those two rudders can deflect water. So this boat will turn left, will turn right in reverse. So a normal inboard boat would only turn one way in reverse. This boat is going to give you both directions of, of steering in reverse. Upgraded the transom remote right there as well too. So you do have that. <clears throat> Obviously custom trailer, disc brakes, aluminum wheels. You got disc brakes on both axles. And then as with all Mastercrafts, you do get the swing away tongue. You can just pull that pin there. It does have the seven uh, way plug there as well too. Step up there, non-skid, step here, sea deck steps, pop up cleats. You got all that going for you, so. All right, guys, great looking boat. Let's hop in. We'll see what, what this one has to offer. All right, guys, here we are inside the 2024 Mastercraft. Again, this is the XT22. Uh, real quick before we begin the walkthrough in the inside, color wise, what we're looking at this, uh, this does have the cool feel interior. So it's the textured interior. What we're looking at here, this is the uh, stealth gray, the jet black. And then you'll also see the alpine white accents in there too. So really a good looking color combination. Uh, gray sea deck floor in this one. So as you, can see, as you can see as we begin the walkthrough here, step up into the boat, sea deck on the engine hatch. Mastercraft now gives you the step pad down so you can walk all the way into this boat without stepping on any upholstery, which I absolutely love. We'll start up here in the bow. And again, I've said this in other videos, but just with all Mastercrafts, they do give you the true walkthrough. This area is not taken up by ballast, not taken up by batteries. Uh, they put the ballast tank subfloor, so they still give you this true walkthrough. But the beauty of this is you don't lose any storage like you do on other brands. So underneath here, we'll have the dedicated anchor storage. And again, there's a spaghetti mat down in there that you can pull out and clean. Um, so you have that. They give you the gall wing storage here on the side which the beauty of this, just to kind of show you real fast, and this is like this with all Mastercrafts, this is gonna go all the way through, guys. So what a huge storage area. Uh, actually, 
we'll actually bump into this one as well too. So you can see I got the cover sitting there. But the point being of this, this is a great place for surfboards, skis, all those big items. Most boat manufacturers are going to put a wall two or three foot in, so you're not gonna have that space, but Mastercraft does not. They give you all that storage, uh, great place to store stuff. Everything's on gas shocks, gull wing storage, works out really well. Uh, more storage underneath here as well too, so you have that. And I love the fact everything's contoured, so very comfortable seats to sit in. You can kind of see the contour there. Multiple cup holders, eight and a half inch speakers, USB power, so all works out really well. And if you're, if you're going Kevin Watt, the other boat's got that playpen seating, even though they don't give you any storage. Well, if that's something you're looking for, Mastercraft still will give you the drop-in fill cushion as an option, so you can kind of see the ledge there that it would stick on. So if you want to make that a playpen area, uh, you're able to do that, plus you'll still get all the storage. So uh, just a win-win all the way around. All right, Mastercraft rear view mirror that will fold right down does have the acrylic door here so this will close it's got the mastercraft logo kind of hard to see in the camera but close the windshield close the door block off that cool air in the spring or in the fall so and that's a standard feature on a mastercraft uh, one of my favorite features of this boat actually is the trash can door right here so they give you that nice push spring loaded trash can door they actually give you an office size trash can. They're not giving you that itty bitty trash can that you see that can hold three cans. They actually give you a real trash can, so which is really good. Uh, padded glove box, locks, opens up. Courtesy light, USB power in there too, and the pads as well, so very nicely done there. Kind of walking back through here. Um, real quick, let's talk about the, the tower, guys. By far, this is the Z6 tower. Mastercraft has got this one. Um, when it comes to put this tower down, quickly unlock, quickly unlock. Everything's on gas shocks. I'm just gonna come to the back. I'm trying to hold the phone while I do this, but it just will pull right down. And when I wanna put it back up, it just goes right back up into place. Lock it, lock it. Easiest tower on the market to work by far. Quickest tower to work by far. The Benami top. This is the best design Benami top on the market. You will see so many different Benami tops that are gonna take you 10 to 15 minutes to put up, put together. This one is super simple, super easy. You can see the breakaway point. There is no front straps, there is no front pulls. Simply pull this down and this is going to, let me unlock the other side. And then this is simply just going to fold back and boom, you can put your storage boot on and be done. When it's time to deploy, push it open and then you're just going to push this up and that's going to lock it into place same thing on this side over here and boom you're ready to go now the beauty of this top as well is you're going to get board storage up here so you can put a surfboard on this side a surfboard on that side but wait hold on we're going up you can put more boards on the top as well too so more board storage netted storage as well so if you got a wet wakeboard rope or something or surf rope you want to put up there you can do that as well too so and then while we're up here uh, we'll talk about it in just a second but this boat does have the premium dual screen dash which gives you the rear view camera so uh, but that's what that is right there and again the klipsch eight inch tower speakers so you have that um okay so standard on the boat as well you get this drop-in cooler. Uh, this is the upgraded cooler as well. So uh, you'll see pictures of this. I pulled this out. Standard cell phone holders. So uh, people got phones in the boat, obviously. Keeps them out of the sun. Doesn't eat up your cup holder space. They're still giving you power as well too. We did upgrade on this boat to this uh, seat back right here. This will just flip over. So. Obviously the actions behind the boat, you can just flip that up real quick. Somebody now has a seat back if they wanna be rearward facing. Same thing, we upgraded the rear flip seat. So you're just gonna basically pull up on this. That just hinges back and boom, now you have a spot for two people to sit there rearward facing. They do give you a step out and more cup holders there. Quick, easy setup, just piece of cake. So 
And same thing, if you want it angled down low, you can do that as well too, so. This locks back in. So cool stuff there, again, there is more storage underneath here. You have the netted storage as well too. Back of the boat, standard ski pylon. Push down, twist, pops up. So now you're not searching underneath the seat, making people move to get your ski pylon out. Your rear storage here, just flip that seat back down. That's gonna pop open. You'll have your ballast tank in there, your ballast bag, surf bag in there. And then they give you that netted storage as well. This has got the Ilmore 6 liter MPI, so 373 horsepower on this one, seven year warranty on this engine, guys. So, heck of an engine. If you're not familiar with Ilmore, look them up. Uh, they build IndyCar and NASCAR engines as their main business. So, really good motor there. That all just locks right back up. All right, so now let's take a look at the dash area. Driver's seat does have the flip up bolster, if you like that. Nice armrest, billet aluminum throttle. Storage, cup holders, wireless cell phone charger as well. Your battery switch used to be buried underneath the seat, like they are most boats. Not anymore. This boat will have your battery switch just right here. It's a remote, basically. So sit down in your seat, flip your battery switch on, put your key in, you're ready to go. Uh, push button start on all Mastercrafts. Uh, got two bilge pumps on this one midship and aft 10 inch and 12 inch screens here your 12 is all touch obviously um, a couple of the features here let's just kind of mess with this this will control the screen up top here obviously you can see the rear view cameras on I can change that to music I can change that to GPS I can also change that to do full screen GPS if I want to as well. Um, also on this screen, and that screen too, obviously data wise, you're gonna see your depth, time, water temperature, uh, battery volts, all that kind of fun stuff. Fuel, sorry, I don't have a lot of fuel in here right now. Engine hours, so. And then over on this screen here, you'll have your controls. So drive mode, surf mode, wake, ski, chill. So obviously if we go to surf, I can adjust the surf wave which will automatically adjust the ballast, will adjust the tabs for me. So I'm able to do that. I can do custom surf as well. If I wanna make it all custom, I can do that. Uh, same thing if I wanna go to chill at the end of the day if we're coven, you know, it's gonna pull up that information for me as well. Um, you know, I can have radio controls, volume controls for each zone, bow, cockpit, tower speakers. Um, and then the beauty too, they also give you quick push button controls. So stereo volume, uh, mute. Uh, if I wanna make adjustments to my uh, surf tabs, I can quickly do that. Uh, same thing on my ballast and then navigation lights. So if you don't wanna mess with the screen, you don't have to. So you can just quickly use that. So really a cool system there, guys. All right, guys, awesome boat. This is gonna make some family very happy this summer. If you got any questions, give us a call. We'd love to help you out on this one. and and get you out on the water. Thanks for the time. Have a great day. See you.